So you've moved jobs a few times, you have a bunch of old employer plans and you don't know what to do with them. Here are your options. One, you can keep the money where it is if it meets certain balance requirements. You can roll it over to a different type of account, such as an IRA. You could potentially roll it over to your new employer's 401k plan if they allow for that. Or you could cash it out, but there would be tax consequences for doing that. If you have a bunch of plans, it can be confusing, overwhelming. You don't know how to get started to evaluate on which of those options is best for you. This is how you can get started. So grab the statements for all of those old employer plans and open up an Excel spreadsheet. Make a list of all the accounts that you have, the names and the type. It's really important you confirm the type. Sometimes I've had it where clients think they have a certain type of account, but they actually have a different type. And this is really important. We'll get more into that in step three, but you want to confirm, yes, it is a 401k, 457, 403b, simple IRA, whatever it is, make sure you are clear on that. Next, what you want to do is look at the holdings within that account and document the expense ratio. So these are the fees that are associated with the holdings. I'm going to link in the description below a video on how to do this. Next, you want to look at the plan fees. So an employer plan typically also has admin fees, asset based fees, maybe even management fees. So document those. We want to get a picture of what having that account is costing you. So from there, you want to look at the IRS rollover chart, which I will link in the description below. I love this chart because it shows you the type, each type of a retirement plan account and where you can move it into. And it tells you the tax consequences for doing that. And it also tells you, you know, if you need to wait two years before you can roll this account over. So it's just a good double check to be clear on what your options are. And this is also why it's really important to know what type of account you actually have. Next, you wanna come up with a plan to simplify. So maybe you've decided to move everything into an IRA rollover. I recommend diagramming out what you have and where it's going. So something really simple, I just do something like this, where I list all of the accounts one is staying, these three moving to an IRA, just to be able to keep track on what's happening. When money starts moving, it's a great way to confirm, yes, it got there. Once it's at the money's, everything's where it is going to be in its new home, confirm that the asset allocation is as you want it. Reach out to a fee-only advisor if you need help. So. Any of these steps they can help you with. They can also help you just confirming that yes, it makes sense to move it or maybe there's a compelling reason to keep it such as net unrealized appreciation or the age 55 exception. So there's different things, kind of a checklist if you will, of um, important factors to consider before moving any money. Reach out with any questions. My name is Linda Rogers, owner of Planning With and Reach.